Yo, what is up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna to be going over maximal square. It's a raised in matrices problem. Uh, Google's asked this a few times. I started a Slack channel. I have a link in the description where I post um, equal problems every day. And lastly, subscribe. The button should be right here. And I'll see you guys soon. All right, so the description reads: given a 2D binary matrix filled with zeros and ones, find the largest square containing only ones and return its area. So we just, um, one thing, important thing to note is they never said it's n by n, so rows and columns can be different. On um, this case, they make it seem like it's always gonna be squares. That's why I like when they give more examples. So, um, so we need to find the square. So here's one square of ones, and there's actually another square right over here, these four. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna draw this out on my whiteboard. I already solved it. So let me redo this. So if the matrix is one, I wanted to do a test case that would show how to solve it the best. Um, so um, when we're solving this, we're gonna realize that this is a square of two, a size two. So um, we have, we wanna say there's two, two by two. So this one would, we would want it to say two. So we would take the min of this, this, or this, and increase it by one. Um, so in another example, if it were instead one, one, zero, one, um, when, when we're rewriting it into our new array, this would be zero plus one, it would still just be one because there's no size two. It's not even, it's a size one, which is just a single one. So um, <clears throat> I wanted to do this using a 1G array. So that's exactly how I solved it. So let's go through it. So if they're in the first row or the first column, we're just gonna put whatever it is, whether it's one or zero. So let's go through the first row is just one, 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 one. And this one right here is just one as well. The part where it gets interesting is right here. We take the min of this one, this one, or this one. So they're all ones, so it's one. And then we just add one because we have a square of size two in that instance. So two, and same thing for this one. It's just uh, the min of these three. So um, it's just, the min is one. And I could actually update this so it makes it easier. Or actually, no, it's two because we have to add one. So let's update it. And this is now going to be these three right here. So it's also it's going to be two. And then we have one because this is on the first column. Um, and this one's going to be two. So let's cross that out. And here's where it gets interesting. So for this one, it's surrounded by all twos. As you notice, we actually do have a square of size three by three. So this is the min is two plus one is three. And same for the last one. So we see we have a max square of three by three. So now let's just code that out now that we have the logic. Hopefully that made sense. The hardest part to these is just coming up with the logic in your head. It's easy to code it out, I think, once you have it written out on a whiteboard. So let's check the base case. If rows or columns is zero, then just return zero. And then let's grab the rows. And columns equals matrix. And we're gonna have a count because I used the 2D array, so let's set that to zero. Max is zero. Let's create our 2D array. Um, I called it DP because this is a dynamic programming problem. New int. All right, so now we have our, we're just gonna loop through our matrix. So we're gonna have two for loops. I less than rows I plus plus. Here's our columns. So 
so the first thing we would check if uh, we're in the first row or first column, we just want to put whatever is in there. Um, one important thing that caught me up is to notice the matrix is car, so we have to convert it to an int because uh, we have to return an int. So um, yeah, so let's do that. Then um, dp count is going to equal matrix i. We're just going to set it equal to whatever is in there. And we have to subtract 0 because we want to convert it to a car. So if we, um, if we have a car 0 and we subtract with another car 0, we're going to get 0. And so if we subtract, um, if we have a car 1 and we subtract 0, we're just going to have 1. Hopefully that makes sense. Because something minus something, it's something minus itself is zero. So that's why that works. Um, so count. We want to increase the count for every iteration. Uh, we could have actually just done it up here, probably. But um, so if matrix. I so another possibility is if it's just equal to it's important to put it in parentheses I did not do that the first time because it's a car the matrix is a car array it just made it a little bit more challenging um, so dp count is just going to be equal to shit and increment count don't forget And the hardest one, so we have else. Um, and I'm going to put this up. So that just means we have a number other than one. Um, it's going to be one of the middle ones. So dp count is going to be equal to the min of these three numbers. So this one, this one, and this one. Let me just draw. It's going to be equal to the one to the right behind it. My, this one's minus columns, minus columns, and this one's minus columns, minus one. So that's how we get to that in here. Because here's the first two. Um, this one is that. And we go one, two, three, four back, which is the number of columns we have. So one, two, three, four. This one is that one. And this one is the one right behind it, so columns minus one. So that's how we solve that. Um, so let's use our math.min function to get the min of three numbers. So matrix, or no, we have to use dp because we're just using, um, it's easier in my opinion. I'm not sure if you could use the matrix. I'm sure you could, it would be complicated though. Uh, dp count minus one count minus columns and dp count minus columns minus one and we need to remember to increment by one increment count and um, now max equals math dot max max or dp so we can't just do count, we have to do count minus one because we already incremented count. Um, we want to get the old one, or the, I guess the current one. And let's just return max times max because they want the size of the square, not just the max columns. So let's run that. Oh, and I never got the size. Rows times columns. And so it's O of n squared. Um, it actually runs pretty fast, so 91%, 65%—because si we used a just a 1D array. So it's O of n, o of n for space complexity. Uh, I hope this video helped. If you guys liked the video, hit that like button. Uh, I post videos every week, so or every weekday. So I'll see you guys in the next video.